Hey guys, and welcome to a test server 8.5 video, and this time it is with the VK3001 D. And I don't know where they threw the B, but uh, even the 3000 or 3002 D isn't called the DB anymore. Don't know where they threw the B, but um, away I guess. Here I'm just showing off the uh, the controversy, just um, so you get a feeling for that. And um, as you can see, test server, and people don't play a lot of tier sixes and below on um, on late hours of the um, of the server. So um, I um, I'm just gonna um, I played three games. The first one here is just to show off the uh, the brawling capabilities of it. Uh, as you can see here. Went out, shot, pretty accurate. Also on the move, and um, just thought I'd, instead of just going safe, um, I'm going out testing this tank as much as possible, shooting on the move, all that gas to to test what this can do. And as you can see, the small tank, the uh, the T80, I'm going to be playing that as well later, um, maybe tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon when people are actually online but uh, right now the 3101 30 you see you don't really need to aim that much to, okay he tracked me boom tracked him and then killed him then the uh, KV-2 which I'm actually more scared of than the top 2 uh, is popping over the the hill over there, and I don't dare just sit there and uh, shoot at him. But as you can see, we are only two tanks here right now, and they could actually just go forward and, and kill us. You also see it is for a pretty big medium tank tier six. It's pretty mobile. The gun is more than decent in my opinion. Uh, 150 damage. I believe. Let's just check it. Oh, that was the 150 penetration. And we have 135 damage per shell. It's decent with the uh, amount of shells it fires. Bounce on that little dude. And the uh, the controverse plus turning the tur turret, no, chassis. Um, I was able to keep up with that little fast dude. And then the uh, Tuck 2 shows up. It doesn't do damage because of the ankle. I was in there. KB2 is behind me. I'm keeping a firm eye on him. And. Ding. <laughs> Not ding. There's nothing. As you can see, the uh, repair on the track is very slow. I'm at 100% and he tracked me again by ramming me. Then the KV just comes rolling around the, the hill. I try and track him just to keep him away, but uh, that only works right there. And um, yeah, that was the first game. Just brawling a little bit to test it out. And we move on to a game on fjords. And this game will show off the tank and its true potential of being all over the place. Annoying and just the amount of XP you can earn with it because the penetration 150 is better than you would think at tier 6 if you look at the uh, VK3601H I believe the penetration on that one is 132 I'm just gonna check this while I speak about the game and here we see a Aufklärung clearings Panzer, Panther. I think that's what it's called. Um, the worst scout tank in the game ever. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for him to peek, uh, look somewhere else, peek somewhere else, <laughs> look somewhere else, and then I go out for the uh, damaging shells or damaging shots. And here we are with the EK. Yep, 132 with the biggest gun on the VK3601. And that's a pretty beastly tank. You can penetrate almost anything you put it up against it. And um, 
This tank is the same tier. It's faster, less armor of course as well, and the gun is just better. Not so much with the damage, which is 135, which we saw in the other game, but the penetration, 150, is just great. And the accuracy for and the aim time, when you just shoot like this, then you will be zoomed in when the reload is done. And yep, just pretty accurate as well. And here we have a Hellcat. I know he'll be reversing, so I'm just gonna aim ahead of time. Go back when I saw that he didn't reverse anymore. Put him on fire, and then we have an I-6 and a Panther 2. Just testing out the gun, seeing if I can penetrate from the front. Of course, I knew I couldn't. The I-6 is pretty damn bouncy. But um, Indian Panzer is uh, behind me, and I just showed off how good that tank was. One, 212 penetration. He only managed to track me and um, here we have the IS-6 he's gonna come up and he's gonna snapshot me and um, oh I shot my ally he didn't even aim but um, yep I just have to write nice snapshot whenever someone doesn't bother with aiming I just can't I just can't help but writing nice snapshot with irony and top is dealing with those guys so I decide to go down and down the path down here where you can take a shortcut but before I go down there I check if I can hit the T69 couldn't from that angle so I decided to go over here and bounced, off. bounced. and then no couldn't uh, aim at him because he moved. So now I'm down here, and the Panther 2 is up there. I rush a shot, which just should have just been. I should have just waited. And here again, okay, I hit him in the turret, which is fine, right there. And then T69 tries to take me out instead of uh, aiming for the Löwe, and I shoot the house right there. The Panther 2 decides to try and see if he can get out there. I see a small gap in the house, and I just pray, and I get it. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, I thought about writing. That shouldn't have happened, but, meh. I just got snapshot by an IS-6, so, meh. He doesn't need an apology from me. Kill this T-69, and then the only threat right now is the IS-6 up there. Mm -mm -mm. And instead of just rolling up towards him, I decide to um, to keep my distance because, well, he is a very dangerous tank, and I am only 16 HP away from dying. Aim for the lower or the rear of him, but um, first two shots went crazy all over the place. He doesn't really realize it's me doing damage right there, so I just get a few shots at him before he decides to drive forward and I can't penetrate the back of his turret or it bounces I don't really know but uh, as you can see going up the hill 30, 35, 36 kilometers an hour very decent tank in terms of speed, maneuverability and yeah I just like the gun and uh, yep let's take a look at the, the stats for this tank because this game even though it didn't look like it was an amazing game you can see here I earned 1,219 XP without premium. That's a lot of XP, guys. Uh, where is it? I think it is. But uh, yeah, that was the uh, 8.5 test server again with the VK 3001D. And yeah, pretty decent, solid tank. I'm definitely going to get this one. Thank you.